Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of The Battle of White Plains, Twilight of the New York Campaign from October 28th to 31st, 1776. This is Battles of the American Revolution series, volume 10. They're already up to 10. Designed by Mark Miklos, fellow Georgian, I do believe. And this is a big, thick box. It's a big, heavy box. One of GMT's three inch, three inch uh, deluxe boxes. This has got two mounted maps in it, believe it or not. It is rated, however, a three on solitaire suitability and a six on complexity. And it plays from two to eight hours, depending on the scenarios, which I assume there's multiple ones in here. So obviously, you know, most war gamers can play true solo, uh, playing both sides. Um, there are cards involved, which you may or may not be able to use the uh, GMT uh, CDC uh, eventually for this series as well. Uh, the card driven, or CDG um, solo bot, or solo sideboard system that uh, Stuka Joe developed. And they have been fleshing out for many games. So, anyway, let's crack it open, see what you get inside. Let's get started here. Okay, so we start out with the Battles of American Revolution series rule book. This is the June of 2022 edition. I'm sure if you have an older game, you can download the, the series rule book without, with that issue. It's only a 16 page rule book. And this covers the rules for the series, not the specific battles that you're playing. So it's on the nice GMT matte finish paper stock. And this covers, like I said, the series rules through combat, leaders, etc. And then you're going to read this, which is going to change a lot of those rules or add more. So here's the exclusive rule book, and that is a 30, 40, 36 page rule book. Yeah, 36, but sequence of plays on the back. And then, so again, it's full color, counter sheet, opportunity card summaries. Battle of White Plains, Prepare for Play, and Special Rules for the Game. General George Washington, before the game begins, the American player must roll a die to determine Washington's combat modifier. So that's kind of cool. Changes it throughout the game. Uh, I guess you just pick the counter, you use the counter with the right, the right modifier. There's some notes on opportunity cards for each of the cards. So it's not a lot of additional rules, it's more like explanations and exceptions. And then the orders of battle start on page 30. So it's not too dense. And then there's always, always appreciated a, uh, you can redo your counters if you need to, or check if you get a used copy, you can always check and see what counters were there. And apparently it's not very counter dense. There's one sheet of counters and one sheet of markers. So pretty nice. And then you can uh, ruse de guerre template. Players encouraged to make copies of this page before using, obviously secret die rolls. All right, and then we have errata for the exclusive rules. So you want to incorporate, the, incorporate those in either with a marker or they may have updated this for download, but usually the exclusive rule books are not available for download, but check GMT's site to be sure. Then we've got two player reference cards for Battle of White Plains. These are portfolio double wide. And there's one for each player, which has the terrain effects chart, the V2 hit, the close combat table. This is on GMT, it's normally really good cardstock, coated cardstock. Then we have those two one and a half counter sheets. So here's one that's mostly going to be markers, front and back. These are not, these are larger, uh, five, I would say five eighths inch counters. And they need, um, there's actually some, uh, some fixed counters for other games. Here's from Monmouth and Utah Springs. There's some replacement counters from those games. If you have all the games in the series, you've got some replacement counters. So that's kind of cool. Um, they are, they're not self pre-rounded. You will need to round them with an Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the correct tool for the job. And then we got our unit markers. There's a couple of control and game turn markers on here well, but as well, but then the unit markers here, the Americans and the in the British forces, along with the Hessians. And most 
most of them are only single sided, as you can see. Some have a reduced side. And then we've got the meat here is two mounted maps, which we'll take a look at in just a second. And then we've got two dice, one red, one blue. We'll assume the blue is for the Americans and the red is for the Redcoats. Who won? Oh, the Redcoats won six to one. First game of the double header. And then we've got our tactics cards, again, red and blue, one for each side. Not really sure how, uh, th this isn't really a card driven game as much as these are just bonus cards, I think. So I don't know if the CDG solo system from GMT will work with us, but I don't know, maybe they maybe they do. So here is the uh, British, British deck, local superiority, cancel the effect of an enemy card the moment it's played, counterattack, suppression fire, it's deck one, oh, there's three decks here. There's deck one, deck two, deck three, or four. And then some, some player aid cards, frontal assault, turn flank, attack echelon, commit reserve, withdraw, ref refuse flank, skirmish, stand fast. And here. Oh, they have a slightly different color. You can see these are the, 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 hint, the uh, reference cards. And then these are the actual opportunity decks here. There's three, and same thing with the Americans. Slightly color different, so you can just pull it really quick. These are the tactics cards, reference cards, and then local superiority. Pretty much the same, probably the same. There may be some slight different ones in here. This can not be held. Increase our American Army morale plus one. If morale is already 20, discard and draw again. So, cool. Take a quick look at these boards here. And these are full-size maps. These are eight panel maps and you gotta put them both together to play this. But one thing that's nice is you do have, even though they're small, uh, well, no, they're not small counters. I take it back, they're five eighths inch counters. Um, so here's your, here's your first map. And obviously it's gonna sit this way on the table, right? But then there's another map, full-size map, that goes along here. So that makes it 44 by 34. Nice graphics in this. I do like, I like the style here of the artwork. You got nice fall trees to fit the, uh, fit the time period. You've got the army morale board here, or track here. Uh, you got a terrain key on the side. The ruse de guerre table here, your die roll. Uh, and then uh, looks like you, Terrytown transition, Terrytown transition box. You move them into there, then you move them back. And opportunity units. So there's map one, the left side, your white planes. And your strength points lost table. And if they lose, if the Americans lose 15 straight points, the British win. If the British lose 23 points, the Americans win. Then we've got our turn track. 42 turns, covering all the days. And then the other side of the map here. Leader summary table, eliminated units, captured units. And then the legend of Sleepy Hollow. According to some historians, the headless horseman depicted in Washington Irving's story was, a, was inspired by a real life Hessian soldier who lost his head by cannon fire during this battle. So there you go. A little bit of history there. All right, so if you pick up a copy of the Battle of White Plains, Battles of American Re Revolution, Volume 10, you are going to get the two decks of cards, one for the Americans, one for the British, both the tactics decks and the opportunity deck. You're gonna get two dice. Oh, and America, uh, yeah, America won eight to one, so they split the double header. You're gonna get one and a half sheets of counters. Oh, well, let's go, let's get the maps in there first because they're heavier. Ugh, you get the two mounted map boards that go together to make one big map in the game. One and a half counter sheets, counters and markers. Two, two portfolio double width player reference cards. The exclusive rule book, 36 page exclusive rule book, about 20 pages of rules, and then a lot of design notes and history. And then the short uh, 16 page uh, series rule book from June 2022 and that is everything that comes in 
the Battle of White Plains, Twilight of the New York Campaign, October 28th to 31st, 1776 from GNT Games, designed by Mark S. Miklos. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!